So here we have a word problem and we need to solve it using a linear equation. So let's have a look to see if we can identify the initial value and the rate of change. So they charge $12 entry and $2.50 per hour. Now what gives it away for the slope is this per hour. So we know that our slope or M equals 2.5 and the 12 entry is a fixed cost so that is our B value. So to write that as an equation it would be Y equals 2.5 X plus 12. Now as this is a word problem we need to define Y and X. What do they actually represent? So here we've put 2.5 per hour so X equals hours. Y is $12 plus $2.50 per hour, so we'd say cost. So Y is our total cost. So we have defined our variables and we've written an equation. What the problem wants us to do is determine how much it would cost for five hours and to draw the function on a graph. Now I've written my equation here. You could have written it as y equals 12 plus 2.5x. It's exactly the same thing. As long as both of these values are positive, the order doesn't matter. So to get it onto a graph, I'm going to set up a table of values for x and y. I'm going to have x 0. And I'm going to count by twos because this is a half decimal. So I know every two of them is going to be a whole number. So I'm going to go 2, 4, and 6. Because the question says I want the cost at 5 hours, so I know if I go to 6, I've covered that amount. Now, how do I find my values for y? Well, what I need to do is I need to substitute each value of x into my equation here. So let's do that. So y equals 2.5 times 0 plus 12. So that's going to be 0 plus 12, and that equals 12, so 12 goes here. And we expect that to be the case because 12 is our initial value or y-intercept and at the y-intercept x always equals 0. Now let's try x equals 2. 2.5 times 2 plus 12 is 5 plus 12 and that equals 17. And we continue doing this with 4 and 6 to fill the table. Once we have these values we plot them onto our grid. Remember x always goes before y. So 0, 12, we know that that's our intercept, so I'm just going to put a dot on the y-axis at 12. Then we go to 2 and 17. Now my scale is going up by 2's, so this is 16 and this is 18, so 17 is exactly in the middle. Then 4 and 22. And lastly, 6 and 27. And then you need to connect those dots with a straight line. So we have our graph. Now we need to determine the cost at 5 hours. Now there are two ways of doing this. You can substitute x equals 5. So y equals 2.5 times 5 plus 12, which is 2450. Remember, it's a worded problem, so you'd have to answer that in a sentence. So that would be $24.50 for five hours. Or you could use your graph and go to the five on the x-axis. Go up, 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 and see where it hits the line. Now this one's a little hard to read. Because it's going up by twos, 25 is halfway. So halfway between 24 and 25 is 24 and a half which is exactly what we got. So we've drawn our graph and to answer the question, we would say the cost for five hours is $24.50.